What's up, this your girl, Fisher Female Rapper, and you tuning in to know the Zine. For the people who never been to Baton Rouge and, and like don't know where it's at, tell them how you know, tell them how you get there, and tell them if how it go down in Baton Rouge. Well, you get to Baton Rouge off of what that is, I 10, right? If you don't drive? Yeah, I drive, <laughs> but I'm still trying to make you know, for the people out of town, people, so you get to Baton Rouge out of town. town. Then, you know, I already know when you see that airport, welcome to Baton Rouge, you know, you here and. You know how I go down. You know the crazy part? You just said that I'm horrible because I didn't even know Baton Rouge had an airport. I thought people you from did. Bat I thought people from Baton Rouge drove a lot to of New people, Orleans. No, they see they just don't fly from our airport. Okay. But you know we got one, but we like to go to New Orleans. Like, you know it's yeah. But our airport not even in New Orleans. Where is it? In Kenner. Oh, I thought that was a part of New Orleans. Well, that's a whole nother debate. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, New Orleans, we ain't, uh, people ain't, people ain't letting, you know, people ain't letting the West Bank slide, Canada, Metairie. You got to be from all these parents. That's the only way they claim you. That's like being rich because it's a lot of outside. But it's crazy because everybody, every code is 504. Everybody's 225. So it's all bad. People just got to like start representing everybody who represents People just need to start showing the little people. <laughs> gotcha. So, I mean, what part of Baton Rouge are you from? I'm from Easy Town. What? Easy Town. What is that? That's like on the north side of Baton Rouge. Okay. Yeah, because I be because I be trying to learn. You know Nussie. I don't know Nussie, but I heard of Nussie. Yeah. Yeah. His son. Where you from? Okay. Gotcha. So, how did you come up on on that with your rap name? Yeah. Uh, well, at first I was female boosting. Oh. At first, when I started rapping, but then after that. It was just a lot of questions people used to ask me. They used to be like, oh, uh, what you want to say your rap name mean? What you want? And I'm not like one of them people. So I just wanted something simple and straight to the cut. I'm a female and I rap, female rapper. But they put the official in front of the, you know, the O in front of it that changed me from all the other female rappers. So like, you know, when you first started off as, as you know, female rapper Boosie. <laughs> <laughs> like how that came about, like you what you was inside because like, rapping a Boosie song? No, like where we from, you know, Boosie like, you know, a head huncho, a big dog or whatever like that. And you know, a lot of people was coming up rapping and wanted to be rappers and you know, wanted to follow his footsteps and his shoes. So I was like I was gonna be the female version of him. So that's how I came up with it. Gotcha. But things change, and you know, I had to come up under my own name and my own stumpy ground. So you gotta brand yourself, right? So you know, name yourself after Boosie, and actually getting getting one chance to actually I'm like work with Boosie. I mean, how was that? Amazing, crazy. I still couldn't believe it, but you know, I had to play cool. You know, I had to be right. I had to, you know, get right. But it was everything, and he showed love and loyalty, and popped it off. So. I can't complain. So like, you know, how that came about, did you hit him up or you? Or oh, you they had, he was on a project in Ben Rouge called Back the Ben Rouge and he picked four female rappers from the rap to do a song and whoever had the best verse, that's what was getting on with the video. Gotcha. So I, I never got a chance to ask this question <laughs> to like a female from Ben Rouge. What you think the difference is from like female rappers in Baton Rouge, from everyone else, like in the whole state, from New Orleans, Street Point, everywhere. I mean, to me, we really stand on business. Like we really live that ratchet life. We really live that popping on the head like turkey. You know everything like that. Not saying the other states don't really live it and don't do it, but just knowing where I come from and where I was raised from, we really living like that. Right. And so, like a female rapper from Baton Rouge. You know, and like when y'all dance, if you call it doing, it like being ratchet, right? Right. Cause, because in the walls, you know, they call it twerking, pussy Twerk. popping, bouncing. Same, it's different. all the same thing. I was, just, I, I was just, you know, I, you know, I, I, everybody got their own, you know. No, it's the same thing. We we do the same thing. 
They said y'all be twerking up, even on the headlights? Most definitely, but I feel like, you know, New Orleans got it, you know? That's where it come from, the popping, but, you know, we done tuned in with it, too. Yeah, and I think, you know, it's just people just, like, separates everything and it kind of slows down the process of our thing actually becoming bigger than actually what it's supposed to be. Right, like too much competition. Like, hey, but you think that if hey, New Orleans just like shuts out Louisiana, if hey, it shuts out different hoods and different parts of New Orleans, like, you know, downtown just started talking to down I mean, uptown, like, you know, they don't claim the West Bank. It's, it's, see, it's, 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 it's like segregation. See, I ain't know how Yeah, it's very segregated. So like, it's how bad the is like, Hey, but if you it's, from like the like north in the south or uptown, uh, I mean, it's like the the bottom and the top. You know, that's different. You got Dixie, you got North there, you got um, Skyland, Zion City, Baker. You got all of them. So it's it's like different, Buku, different hoods. CC like And do they rock each other or no. all separated? A lot of them separated, but it's not like no, oh, this side and that side, like, cut off a line. It's like, everyone just don't mess with nobody. It's <laughs> wild up there. It's very wild up there. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give Baton Rouge his props, because, like, far as y'all, and far as y'all party life, night, y'all night life, to me, it's better than New Orleans now. Because, like, y'all actually play y'all local artists. And, yeah. And y'all actually dance in the club, like, mm -hmm. like. And like I just saw if Lil Wayne bring out Drake and nobody even moves still. Like New Orleans got that meme mug. He's like, damn, you ain't like y'all know Drake songs. Y'all still ain't popping to it. soldier mentality. I don't know what the hell man <laughs> that is. It's so funny. She said a soldier mentality. Yeah, I, I that's what I feel We but like New Orleans used to like no, New Orleans like what he like now. I'll tell you what he loved. He loved Jeezy. Uh -huh. Meat Mill. Most girl. And I can't think of here's a few people. Wow. Rob for Rob. Rob. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Rob. I'm talking about, I'm talking about some people that that's not cool. Oh, oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. But like Rob, like if like Rob actually was the first person that I seen that the whole city supported. Because that's very rare. Yeah. Being from downtown and uptown support you. It's like it's very sacred, like I see. So like, you know, like even how you know if a bad rules artists can come up with like but y'all still play. Their music, right? It's very rare that, like, like, like New Orleans is like a popularity place. If you ain't like, they ain't gonna play you. If, damn it, till you popular, damn it, made it out of it. Right. But like, if y'all DJs actually on the support, you know, local DJ. I mean, local artists. So like, do you we feel do. like if the well, DJs they just support there, who they want to okay. support. They support who they want to support, or if you pay them to make right. them support. Hey, but do you feel like like all the DJs out there actually gonna support you? No. Well, call them out. Who you think gonna support you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the DJ's name by heart, but y'all know who y'all are, and it's just like they don't. But it's like I can't blame them though, cause I went on my grind, so I can't blame them because if like I go in the club, I'm partying, I'm dancing, I'm drinking. You know who I am. I'm with my homegirl, and them, but I'm not that type of artist to walk up to the DJ. And just be like, oh, can you play my music? Oh, huh, he got my song. Or he got some money right here to play mine. Woo the woo. Like, I wasn't putting in that work as I was supposed to. So, I don't blame him. Right. So, I mean, what's the average day like for you? It's a hard night of life. <laughs> like, an average day with me is going to be rapping, taking care of my daughters, studio time, Instagram videos. Um, and making money. And making money. And huh? making money. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any brand new music coming up or features? Uh, yeah, I have features with What a Dollar Z, me and Nikki. Um, I have another singer called Do That. Um, just me by myself. Then I got a lot of more songs that's coming and features that's coming that I can't speak on, but they big though and major. Gotcha. So, so tell us what separates you from all the other female rappers out there. What separates me from all the other female rappers out there? Like, I'm the goal. Like, I don't know. I, I can't. I could put my finger on this, like, you know when, like, some, you ain't know that you want to be a rapper, but it's just, it's made for you, and, like, it's 
it's destined. Like, it's like no can't go wrong. Nothing can't go wrong. Like, I'm raw, uncut. I do my thing. I'm not jealous of nobody. I don't do it for the clout. I'm doing it for the money. You know, my homegirls put on for my city, but I'm just so raw. They don't understand. Like, <laughs> they raw. So, they ain't missing. So, like, you know, if I heard of like Charlamagne talk about, you know, all the female. The, like all the female rappers coming out and stuff, and they and he basically saying like all the females rap about the same thing, and we call it booty hole music, and because of you know sexy yeah, red, so, or booty sexy red. so like, like, if it's to the people who probably never heard of you, like tell them you know, if it's your style and like kind of if kind of I'm like what you be rapping about. See, like me, I'm a, like, I came out as a you know gangster hood rapper, you know hood red rapper, whatever like that. However, y'all want to call it, or what's his name, Charlie, whatever he say, booty hole rapper. Yeah, I was one I'm of Charlie from the Breakfast Club. Yeah, from the Breakfast Club. Yeah, I was one of those rappers. Still is, still do my thing, and I'm a pain rapper. But a lot of people don't listen to like my pain music or like my you know life struggle or whatever like that. Yeah, but they want booty hole music. In it, it is wrong. I ain't gonna lie. But like you know, as a female rapper, like you know, this is also how you feel. Like he feel like you know, right now if the female rap is like, like messing with you know, if the little girls mind right now, it is because it's going through TikTok and you got little eight year olds talking about booty old brown. It is. I I don't blame them. It, it, it is, but it's not the artist's, like, responsibility to look at the child, which it is true because I have daughters. And, like, when I started rapping, I was watching how I rap or what I say or what I do. But when it really make mind of what road I'm going on and what I'm leading to, like, when I look at people like Trina, Carly B, you know, like, girls that really sexy red, you know, that's what you got to do sometimes. And I just tell people to tell their children, like, if you're a rapper or whoever, you know, right. baby, this is what I do, but it's not who I am. But this is what the people want. This is how we going to eat. This is how we going to make it. So mama got to do it. Right. So but don't you follow that right. footsteps. Be who you want to be. But it's, it's kind of hard because your, your children watch everything you do. And that's another thing. But I was about to say, you know, basically, you know, being one female rapper who, like, rap about what goes on in the streets and, like, rap kind of, like, a little more too much about what the, on what dudes kind of rap. Yeah. And but the industry kind of, like, you know, push that person to the side. Because, like, because, like, we have a female rapper here in New Orleans that, that like, actually stood toe-to-toe to, like, all the rappers, like, and that's on, like, 3D Not T. She's, like, she's been in, like, you know, and like ciphers with like Kendrick Lamar and all them, and like you know, but the industry never brought up mainstream. Like they know about them, but they ain't really push them. Yeah. And they got the other artists. I'm like Rap City. She can rap, but like the industry don't really push them because they really rap. But like people, like the truth is, I'm like sex sells. Mm-hmm. So like you know. That's what Biggie told Kim. <laughs> sex sells. <laughs> he did. I got you. <laughs> So like being, you know, in the music industry for a while now, tell us what do you enjoy most about it and tell us what do you actually hate about it. What I love about it and enjoy about it is my fans. And I like when y'all scream my name, scream my lyrics, be happy to see me because I be happy to see you. And the money that I know it's going to bring in the lifestyle that I want. What I hate about it is like people that sleep on me. People that don't show love when they know what's real. People that you thought have your back and post to help you and that's in a good position. That's, you know, to get you there, they turn their backs on you. So it be hard to trust. And you don't know, like, who really with you or who just with you because, you, you know, you about to turn up. So what's your advice on to one on a younger female that is watching this interview right now? Think about following on my DM footsteps. My advice to her is like, don't listen when nobody say, do you. Don't wait on none of your friends to help you support your dream because you're going to be stuck if you wait on anybody because it's all to you. And keep grinding and don't let nobody play with you, man or female, no matter what. And get your money. Don't be about the clout because all that clout, it ain't good. 
It ain't good. It's not. So I have a question for you because you know people gonna wanna ask. Are you single? Yeah. So if you're gonna get in trouble at this interview, huh? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna get in trouble at this interview because he know what it is and I know what it is. Hey. He never tell me nothing, so I'm thugging. You thugging, huh? I'm thugging. So if you could date anyone in the entertainment <laughs> I don't industry see that. <laughs> or our music world, who would it be and tell us why? Young and Ace, cause that's my man and I love him. I had that already, really. Hey, man, you ever met him? No, not yet. Well, hey, why you come out here for the Unfortunate um, Island weekend? You That's what I'm saying. I missed him. He was in New Orleans, and I was so mad. Hey, I could have ran up on the basketball game. all night. I was like, I can't believe he was this close, and I couldn't get to him. Are you serious? So, man, you this question. How would you have felt you got to him, and he was like, give you the cold shoulder, I'll play you? Oh, I would have been horrible. You ever cried in no people? <laughs> hey, were you the smart hair? I probably would have been too. Come on. I hope next. Get your ass here. Yeah. I'm about to be famous. You're going to be looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. So, where you see your music career going in like three years from now? To the roof. To the sky, cause I'm gonna keep grinding. I'm not gonna stop. Like I said, I was made for it, so it's no if and buts about it. Like I'm, yeah. In three years, I probably be getting twenty four, like Beyonce, to go to Dubai. That's how far I'm trying to go. I don't want to be like no hood rapper and local in the hood. I want to be Jay Z, P Diddy, you know, Miami. I'm doing their thing too. But I just need a little more money. Need a little more money. A little more money. A little yeah, more because stage. if you ain't got a little more money, you'll get peed on. Okay. <laughs> but what he want to pee at? I'm going to leave that one alone. Please leave that one alone. Because <laughs> I don't want to be known as the rapper that getting pissed on from that way. <laughs> like, you know how they be. Gotcha. So, tell us, how well do you take, I'm like, like I'm actually on criticism? Not good. I'm high headed. Anything somebody say about me wrong or I'm just ready to flash out. So the, have you have you ever like experienced someone on like calling your music trash? Oh yes, all the time. They say I can't rap on thing I rap about is my coochie, taking somebody baby daddy, I don't make sense and stuff like that. But they that's just from haters. And I know they be hating, so I don't pay them that's so what you be saying about your Gucci? Like how good and wet it is and how your baby daddy can't get enough of it. Like that type of stuff. They be mad, but it's all facts. That's what I'm saying. They know what it is. So I have this question. How do you know if your Gucci is good? Because like a few people told me the Gucci was good and it, it wasn't good. And I and like they probably thought I hit it, hit it and quit it, but it, I just didn't want to tell them it, it, it was whack. Uh, how many girls know you got to say that on you? A few girls that, that had some black few? that actually thought it was better than what they was was, was hey, advertising. You said it, your that name on you and it wasn't good. No, no, I I tagged my name. I say basically. I'm saying how many girls name you have tagged on none. you? None. None. No, no, I don't put no. Only girl I got is my mama, and the only reason I got up first because I thought I was gonna get in trouble. I got um six dudes with my name. But well, they got the good dick. You ain't got the good pussy. And, and I don't got no names or no niggas on me. Oh, so what other niggas? So what they tell, they tell you? You might. It, it, you might just be toxic. Uh huh. You gonna say that name because they toxic? Some dudes like that. Love that shit. I don't think that was the reason. That's their, uh, I could tell you another you, reason I know it's good. Oh, you can have Doc Doc 3000. No, because I don't suck dick. That was the other reason I was about to oh, yeah, tell you. I got some good pussy. Dude. I got good. That's what I'm saying. If you don't have to suck dick and they chat your name and be with you for years. Yeah, they love you. I'm trying to tell you it's good in so many areas. <laughs> Shout out to them dudes with that tattoo. You may let daddy touch your name across his chest. <laughs> they gonna be mad about that. Hey, have they ever met each other? They, we from Bay Woods. They know what it is. That'll be some crazy shit being in jail together. You see the same oh my girl name tatted on. They be calling the phone. She had your boyfriend and made it back here. I should. I be like, man, that's not my boyfriend. Like. So you got boo-boo niggas in the back and and on fucking Bay Woods jail with your name tatted on. Not boo just the ones <laughs> I selected. <laughs> you selected them. No, they selected me. So I love all y'all. Okay. You still talk to them? I really I can't say his name because they be cheating. And I'm the reason. <laughs> oh, wait. You're going to leave that one alone. So how you feel about rappers wearing fake jewelry? Rappers wearing fake jewelry. 
it depends on like what you doing with the fake jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Like if you got on fake jewelry, you my chain call woo 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 woo. What a diamond touch did. Let's see what 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 it's really about. But if you got on fake jewelry, you like boosted. You know you gotta fake it till you make it. I was wearing Wayne Dane chains to diamond rings. You know you cool. You laid back. Do your thing. I ain't hate cause that one shit I had some. But you know when you meet a bigger bag. You can boss it up. Do your thing. That's on you. On them. And they pockets. Let me ask you this question. I'm like, what does Boosie mean I'm like, to the city of, of Baton Rouge? He like a head honcho. Um, I would say like, no, that's too much right there. He a head honcho. He a boss man. And he did, you know, something that nobody did. You know, for Ben Rouge, like not not saying like he did. What I'm trying to say is, let me put it in words. I want to get it right. He like was the first one to really like you know put put it on the map, like put it down. Like they got a lot of other peoples that put it on the map, but for Ben Rouge in the city, like he was the one that came out the gutter first. He was the one that made your hood fantasy coming out the hood, big houses, swimming pools, cars, shows. Not you know. He was the one who did that. But, uh, so he like you know, but it, it would also when they get there like you know, Abel hey, Webby was actually at the first Webby, one to go mainstream. Webby was. But Boosie was right there, but Boosie, I was just yeah, Boosie but, like was I was like Baton Rouge give Baton Rouge give like Webby and I didn't credit. know that, and I didn't know that. See, I didn't know that. They put in the Webby first album. He was the one to like take trail to the next level. See, I ain't know that, but I love some Webby too. Right. Ain't that like Webby like? Nick like with but that G shit from on and on like yeah. Okay, that's a good yeah, now see I would I wanted to say that but you asked me about Boosie. I no, I asked you what Boosie meant to say Yeah, that's what I was, I was trying to tell you what he meant. Right. right. But yeah, Webby did the same too, most yeah, definitely. I, I, I feel people did that thing. I really like people can't take nothing from young boy. Young boy and Lil Wayne probably gonna be the biggest people ever from the Louisiana. Right. But is in middle. I'm talking about like to the world. Like I ain't talking about just to hip hop, I'm talking about to the world. It's like people know them too. Like you know, Boosie like street known, yeah. Instagram known, like, and YB, yeah, YB, like, YB known, in, like YB known in households. That, yeah, but see, that he, he, they gonna be the ones like male versions for the females. Yeah. Gonna be you and us. Oh, and us. Oh, well, yeah. you know, hey, but we gonna see what she talk about next. It's gonna be. <laughs> I'm telling you, if it, yeah, I'm letting you know. <laughs> hey, so tell us. I'm like, what's next for you? What's next for me? Um, I'm going to do more videos, make more money. About to get signed to a major label, but stay tuned. And I'm going to do my thing. So be looking for me. Like, if you already know me, and when is dropping? Tomorrow. Oh. Uh, well, y'all might be rich as fuck tomorrow, too. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to know who I am. And also, last but not least, tell the world what can they find you on social media and um, everywhere. Um, you can find me everywhere as female rapper, but my Instagram, main Instagram is underscore official female rapper. And you're gonna find my backup page, my YouTube page, Twitter, Facebook, and all that good stuff on there.